The Raiders' hairstyles this year have been about as consistent as their play. But last week, they made the long trek west a misery for some big-button Kansas City Chiefs faithful. The silver and black, led by number 60, Otis Sistrunk, shut the Chiefs' ground game down completely, allowing only 24 yards rushing all day. The Raiders themselves struck through the air early in the first quarter on a Ken Stabler to Fred Blitnikoff score that Fred celebrated with a casual flair that keeps the Raiders Chiefs rivalry boiling. Of course, the game is always a big one and died in the wool Kansas City hater Marv Hubbard rose to the occasion with a 31 yard blast up the middle to easy living. A replay shows that once through the line, Marv went unmolested and Oakland led 14 to nothing. Stopped on the ground, Mike Livingston took his team up top where he was intercepted out of bounds by the man who watched the pyramids being built and who added three field goals himself to Oakland's cause. Yes, it was George Blanda who does it all. Mike Livingston did a little himself as he found a way through the Raiders' tough defense. His 17-yard run was nice, but didn't quite put the Chiefs back in it as they trailed 23 to seven. Livingston's luck didn't last long. Number 43, George Atkinson intercepted one pass, which eventually led to an increase in Oakland's lead. The increase came on a 10-yard outside run by Charlie Smith. It looked like the Raiders had once again pounded the Chiefs out of the playoffs. Trying desperately to get back in it, Pete Bethard kept the Chiefs in the air and ran into number 48, Namaya Wilson's wraith-like steal. Then the proud and poised Oakland Raiders administered the coup de grace as Kenny Stabler hit Cliff Branch and the silver and black had a big win, 37 to seven. Well, old chief, there's always next year.